Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me, Kate May, Modern Day Mystic, for your week ahead moon vibes. Now, this is a really, really important week. It's a special, magical week. We start off with the moon in Pisces, the new moon in Pisces. We're in Pisces season. Now, Pisces energy is dreamy. Pisces energy is fantasy. It's illusions. It could be hidden things. It could be um, daydreaming. It could be... Um, Catch us out of funny five minutes. It could be uh, anything to do with your subconscious, okay? Now, this is where the magic starts. The Pisces is the last zodiac sign of the, um, is the last zodiac sign and starts off in Aries. So it's almost like it's the end of the zodiac year. So we have a really good time now to tie up loose ends, finish things before we move in to the spring equinox and the Aries energy, the Aries sun. So the energy around us now is like fulfilling our dreams. So if you think about things that you thought about last year, 12 months ago or six months ago when it was the full moon, what you released, what you wanted to bring in, how far you've come in that last six to 12 months, and you can then realize your full potential of your dreams and your manifestations. If you've not done an awful lot in that last 12 months, this is the time to start thinking about actually I can make a difference in my life. We are in a magical um, manifestation mode. Now this is the fourth supermoon in a row, which means it's closer to the earth. So the energy is intense. Everything is heightened there. This will include, because it's Pisces, this will include your psychic abilities, your mediumistic skills and anything on that subconscious level. Now you might start to feel that your dreams are becoming clearer. You might start to sense things a bit more you might start to see things a bit more your clairvoyance your clairaudience your clause clairsentience and um, any of those clairs could become really heightened for you now as well as other intense emotions so karmically, because this is the last sign of the zodiac, we are looking at releasing our karmic debt, releasing things that really no longer serve us, releasing our blocks, because this is a new moon. So we want to go into the new moon with new magical energy, with new vibes. This literally is the time to dream big, but we have Saturn connection. Now, Saturn is all about being practical. Saturn is about um, order. So although we have those dreams from Pisces, sometimes they can just stay a dream. Pisces are very dreamy energy. They, um, they're very, <laughs> I've got to say, they can be quite lazy as well. Um, and they, they live in some kind of fantasy world. But the Saturn energy is going to be able to bring that energy down into practical nature and do something about it. So we can literally start to make those dreams a reality. OK, we also have um, Pisces. No, we have Venus, which is the planet of love, the planet of compassion, the planet of beauty. We have Venus. Hello, my darling. Venus um, into Aries this week. Now that is going to intensify the vibe around you. You're going to really feel some self-loving. You're going to really feel some um, self-worth coming in. And again, it really helps to start the new zodiac year in a positive main mindset because we all know that we need to love ourselves more and be um, honouring ourselves, valuing ourselves before we can do anything with anyone else there. So this beautiful connection with Venus in Aries really does shine the beauty light on you and you are allowing you to see all the beautiful things around the world, around the universe, but also within you and harmonising situations. If there's been karmic energy around you that's been disturbing lately, this Saturn vibe, this Pisces new moon, it all deals with karmic endings finally drawing a line under things, accepting things for what they are or admitting things. Now, Pisces energy, because it can tap into your um, illusions and hidden elements, Pisces do like to go away with fairies. They, um, they're they good at burying their head in the sand and kind of, they're not very good with reality. So this energy now, this Saturn is going to help you come to terms with perhaps your unhealthy behaviours. Maybe you drink too much. Maybe you smoke too much. Maybe you don't, um, you're in a toxic relationship. Maybe you're, you're the one that's a bit toxic. This um, new moon allows you to identify that. It's all right. It's fine. You can be that. Um, don't bury yourself with it. Don't hide it anymore. Let it come to the light because once it comes to the light, you can then deal, some, deal with it. You can do something about it. So this new moon is so magical in so many ways. So pay attention to your dreams. Really think about what it is that you want to create over the next six to 12 months. Think about how far you've come, but how much more magic you can do. Let go of things, own up to things, immense healing, but have a fabulous week.